What's up, YouTube? And we finally made it. We finally made it to the complex parts. And they're going to get harder. They're going to make you cry. And they're going to get tougher from there. And they're going to make you just want to squeal. It's going to be amazing. So hopefully you guys are masochists. And let's get into it. So uh, this is going to be our T2.1.1. .1 and we're given an A, B like usual. We know our density, which is going to be that point. 0028 grams per millimeters cube. Our units are going to be millimeters, grams, seconds, two decimal places, and all unspecified radii are six millimeters. So all these radius edges that you see are going to be classified as six millimeters. And we see that our part is symmetrical about the X and Y plane. So we, what we could do here is that we're going to draw one side, or we're going to draw the center first. Then draw one side of the of the flanges here and then mirror it to the opposite side. So let's make a brand new part. So file new. Parts in millimeters. Press OK. And then we're going to make sure our parts set up correctly. And this time it does matter. So our Z is our C is heading to the left, our X heading to the right, and our Y facing up. So it looks good. And then we're going to sketch our first piece along the right or the front plane but before that let's go and manage our equations we're going to add our a va uh, variable which is actually let me make that uppercase a actually i can't I'll change it after so 76 millimeters is going to be a and then our b is going to be 127. And then let's press OK. Actually, do this as well. Let's do add, add a radii. R. And this is going to be six millimeters. So let's press OK. And then we're going to right click our front plane. Hide all the other planes. And then we're going to go ahead and sketch. This shape that I'm drawing on screen. There we go. And our first dimension we're going to put on here is our B dimension. It equals B. 127 millimeters. Bottom portion is going to be 50. And then our angle here, 45. There should be a height dimension somewhere. Ah, actually not a height. It's actually going to be 38 millimeters here. So that defines our sketch, and we're going to go ahead and box extrude mid plane. And this one is going to be at a variable. So equals a. Press OK. Now we have our center portion. So let's go ahead, and then I want to do next that we're going to add those little brown flange pieces. Make sure we're in correct orientation. We're going to go from the top. So we're going to add here. And we're going to add a line. And you're going to press the letter A. That adds an arc. So you see that? Our letter A. And then we're just going to put our point in horizontal to our other point. And then we're going to go scroll down. And that's going to give us our vertical coincident and tangent relationship automatically. So you see those bottom right three symbols that's going to be our quid incident our vertical line and our tangency i'll give us all three at once and there you made a really nice quick round feature on this piece we're also going to add a center line the reason for the center line is that we could click the center of our circle and then we could hit it on the right side as well and we can give it that 178 millimeters. There we go. Our thickness is going to be 76 millimeters. And that looks all right. Then I'm looking for the thickness of this bracket. Hmm. 
does seem like it's missing from this drawing. So let's go ahead and just define this as 20. And if I find it throughout a uh, little through the video, I'll add it as an insert. Okay, so we're gonna extrude this 26 millimeters. So let's go ahead and just define this as 20 millimeters. And what we're going to do next is that we're going to actually add a hole wizard. So this is something new. And what we're going to do is that if you look at the drawing, we have this 38 through, which is going to be that center hole. And then we're going to have a 57 millimeter uh, countersink, which is going to be this round feature that only goes down one millimeter. So we have a countersink of 57 that goes down one millimeter. So the way we're going to find that is through a hole wizard. So hole wizard gives you a bunch of options, but the one we're going to worry about now is this custom option or this legacy hole. We're going to go to countersink hole. Oops. The board drill. We go through all. And then you see these diameters and I know it looks awful here, but our diameter is going to be 38. Our depth. Oops, that's where you set it as our uh, through hole. So our counterboard diameter is 57. And our C depth is actually 1 millimeter. And this one you can keep at once uh, 18. It's not going to change the part. So oops. what we're going to do is that we're going to place it on top. You're going to see it there. You're going to press OK. And then we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do next is that we're going to grab both these features first. We're going to hit mirror, mirror about the right plane. And you're going to see that on the opposite side. Okay. And now we're going to make, we're going to go back to the top feature. And what we're going to do is uh, actually, let me do something else. I'm going to sketch on top here create a center line and then we're going to make a center rectangle so I want to grab a center point and just make it centered here and we're going to give this the measurement of 26 26 26 by 26 and then we're going to go hit extrude cut and I have a down ramp so a set of, uh, you see this blue uh, section is going to be a direction. So we're actually going to go down this direction and we're going to hit through all. And press OK. There we go. And now what we just need is our six millimeters. So our six millimeters. I'm going to add a one here, one here, one here. Actually, this isn't right up the top. So we're going to actually just add the single one first and these actually do matter in the test oops so we're just going to do this one first we're going to hit our six millimeters again we're going to change that to our equals r just to keep it and we're going to change our, we're going to edit our last one as well it's going to be equals r Okay, and there you go. Now you see how the edge doesn't write up to be a radius as well. You see at the very top. So that gets rid of that issue and we have our part. Okay, so our part so far looks right and we have our evaluate mass properties already done and it looks like this is the right mass now. So let's go ahead and let's change up our variables. So let's look at the packet again. And this one, we're going to look at our AB, which is going to be 86 and 110. So we're going to change our configuration name here to T2.1.1. Dot dot one. 
and then our second configuration which is going to be t2.1.2 going to change our equations here and then this one is going to be this configuration make sure it's in dot two this configuration configuration is going to be 86 it's going to be 110 and there you go so we have the correct second part of this as you can see it looks very close to the picture and then we can also go to our evaluate mass properties. You can see the mass. And you can see the X, Y, and Z. So congratulations on this, guys. This is a very complex part. And if you got the right mass, think super. We're going to head over to the next complex part in the next video. See you guys then. And I sometimes forget. But guys, uh, please save your file. And to make sure you guys can use it for future references as well. So go to file, save as. And I'll see you guys then. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps with the channel. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer as a reply comment or as a short video between the courses to help out any others who probably have the same question as you. Feedback and video suggestions are appreciated and helps me to improve the design of the content for you all to better enjoy and learn. Thank you for watching and all of you have my greatest respects for pursuing to learn new great things.